Hey guys, it's Miss Brandy from the Hillview Branch Library of the Bullitt County Public Library System. And today we are going to make our very own wax melt. I know it sounds scary. I was intimidated at first, but it's really simple. Okay, what we're going to need is we're going to start out with some wax. I got beeswax. You can get soy wax. Those two are the ones that were highly recommended on the internet. Next, you're going to get some essential oils. I got some that smelt good. I like the gingerbread flavor, but you can get stuff like peppermint for like headaches. So make sure you research it if you want to. You need silicone molds. So I got some fun shapes. You can get a bunch of different shapes. I got stars and hearts and dinosaurs. Once you figure out what type of mode you're gonna use, I promise that's a hard part because there's so many options. You're gonna wanna figure out what color you wanna do. You can use gel food coloring. Today I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna use glitter instead. You can use gel food coloring and glitter if you want. I just kinda wanna see the glitter stand out. Once you have figured out the color, the way you want it to look, next we're gonna start with actually making it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna melt your wax. For this, I melted it in a microwave safe bowl. I would actually recommend doing it in a like glass measuring cup so that it's easier to hold on to and you'll have some like a spout to pour it out of instead of just trying to pour it like that. But melt it, you can do it in a crock pot as well or you can also do it in a double boiler. <clears throat> whatever you've got and then we're going to add in our flavors so i'm using gingerbread and you have to use a lot to make it smell good okay i'm starting out with like a third of a bottle and then you can keep adding more as you can see it was coming out a little bit at a time and that is not what you want because you want this to smell up your whole house and make your house smell amazing or if you're using it for like the headache relief you really want to be able to get all of that smell so I'm starting out with a third of a bottle. I think I said that. You can use half a bottle. You're going to know what you need. It's going to take a little bit of trial and error, but you all got this. So just mix that in. You can also mix in the food coloring now and the glitter now, or you can wait. I'm going to take it, and again, something that's got like a little spout on it would make this so much easier. If you don't and you're going to do it like this, please make sure you have an adult and make sure that you have something wrapped around so you do not burn yourself. And you're just going to pour it into each little container. If it doesn't go on perfect, it doesn't matter. When it dries, it pops out. And you can use the knife to just kind of work around the edges and make it that perfect shape. It's not really that hard at all. I was able to actually just even break it off with my fingers. I didn't have to use a knife. And this could get a little messy if you want to put something down underneath it. But you're just going to fill up your containers. And as you can see, I made a mess. So this would have done a lot better. If I hadn't made a mess, the towel got a lot of it. So it would have made more than I had made. But next, if you didn't stir anything in, you're going to take in your add-ons. So I'm going to add in my glitter. And I'm just going to pour it in. And you can also take a toothpick here. You're going to kind of see that the glitter is just going to kind of sink down. Some of it sinks down better than others. So if you have a toothpick, just use a toothpick to mix it in. And make it go all throughout. And then you all know that one color of glitter is not enough for me. And I hope it's not enough for you either. So once you get this all nice and glittered with your first color, you will take your second color and you're going to add in your second color. So I'm going to do that now. And then you're just going to add that in. And these are perfect to keep for yourself. I'm going to make me a bunch. But also, they're perfect to give as little gifts. They're very inexpensive little gifts to give out. And you can make a lot. It's a great little homemade touch if you all do homemade gifts and exchange them. Okay, but now... We are going to let that set and it starts setting pretty quick, but I want to make sure it's good and set. So I'm going to leave it for, I left mine for 24 hours. You don't have to leave it that long. Just make sure they're good and dry before you pop them out. And here is my finished product. Please let me know what combinations you do. Show us in the comments below with pictures. I can't wait. Bye guys.